Digging deeper now, our team is digging deeper into a controversial decision out of Elkhart. City officials making the call to disallow comments on their Facebook posts. Officials putting the policy in effect just yesterday and people living in Elkhart are frustrated. Some going so far as to say the move is against the law. So is it unlawful and why now? That is the question, one of many we're asking. In fact, today I asked city officials that question, but also state officials. Here's what they told me. Tonight, people living in the city with the heart are hard set against a recent move from city officials disabling comments on its city and police department's Facebook pages. People are not happy posting on Facebook. Nothing says transparency and honesty like keeping the little people from saying anything and Elkhart City taking away freedom of speech. Let's talk to city officials about the move. They say this decision took months of deliberation. We have just had a real marked increase of very nasty, hateful, sometimes abusive and harassing language shared on our social media pages. Um, and most of the time, it's completely irrelevant. The city has been trying to create a policy long before this week's decision. Our team obtaining a copy of a policy created early this year meant to moderate online discussion on Facebook. The policy states the city has a right to delete submissions, citing a list of examples, including comments unrelated to the city, profane language and discriminatory content. Not only did it become very time consuming for us to monitor the comment section of all of our posts, it really started to um, become a little too subjective. And then it also became an issue of, well, who's monitoring the Facebook at three in the morning when someone says something awful? So is this move legal? The state's public access officer telling me in a phone call, this is a little bit out of our lane. This is more of a constitutional issue than a public access issue. There's no requirement or absolute right to create a public forum on Facebook. I encourage public comment forums and meetings, but not even that is required by state law. Some Facebook users are speculating this week's decision is a result of recent changes in city personnel, which the city refutes. It is really unfortunate for the general manager of our theater that her resignation was announced around the same time this policy was announced. City leaders hope one thing remains clear. Reaching out to them directly and even showing up to meetings are still options you can take to make your voice and opinions heard. I've run plenty of public forums where it's me and the engineer and we're hanging out having a cup of coffee because nobody shows up. That energy that the people are showing, I really hope it translates into some type of community action because I do think there are valuable opinions out there. Okay, so let's be honest, regardless of our reporting, people will still have transparency issues when it comes to the fallout over Facebook being a form of public opinion. We know this city and state officials know this too, which is why they urge you to be a part of those council meetings and those community meet and greets because there is concern fake pages are just being made just to fuel disinformation and misinformation during this election year specifically too. Meanwhile, city officials also tell me residents are free to share posts and create their own conversations online, not to mention virtual meetings will still be open to engagement, but it will be through WebEx, the service which hosts those meetings.